It is the award-winning musical sensation that's been taking the world by storm for 20 years and now it's back on Australian shores, bringing Melburnians on a magical adventure to the land of Oz. Since its Broadway debut in 2003, Wicked has enchanted audiences in over 16 countries across the globe with its bright and colourful costumes, awe-inspiring set designs and lively orchestrated music. It is the iconic untold story that tells the relationship of Elphaba and Glinda, who later go on to become the Witches of Oz. The heartwarming, mesmerizing and at times emotional show will leave you speechless with its state-of-the-art staging and special effects, transporting the audience each night down that yellow brick road to the Emerald City. Since premiering back in 2008, Melbourne's East End Theatre District has rolled out the green carpet multiple times at the Regent Theatre in both 2014 and this year's 2024 current season for the hit John Frost Crossroads live production. The original star-studded lead Aussie cast consisting of Amanda Harrison, Lucy Jurak, Rob Mills, Maggie Kirkpatrick, Rodney Dobson, Penny McNamee, Anthony Kalia and Rob Guest as the wizard who followed Following his passing was taken over by TV legend Burt Newton. The show continuing to win the hearts of thousands across the country and the globe, breaking box office records. Well, first of all, this music, this score by Stephen Schwartz is the most beautiful thing on this planet. For argue with the walls, truly. It is it is what keeps me going. It makes me so happy, it breaks my heart, it makes me sad, it makes me feel the entire spectrum of human emotions. Um, other than that, it's this cast. Like, anyone who's in it, like, the people I've seen, even, like, the swings and understudies that I've seen go on for lead roles, whoa. I mean, but, like, you know, let's let's talk about the big three. Courtney, Sheridan, and Liam. Wow. They have redefined these roles in a way that I've never seen before. Um, but also, special shout-out to Zoe, Emily, and Jess, who are um, the understudies and standbys for um, Glinda and Alphaba. While Courtney and Sheridan are the stars of this... Those three girls, mwah. Why the show is still loved today is because it just is great. Like it is just a perfect example of musical theater and how it can touch people and bring people together. And I mean, you know, look at me. I've been, what, nine times in the last two months? Sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah, like I, just, I love meeting people through it. I love sharing stories about the show with people, um, be it online on TikTok or Instagram or in person at stage door, even. From the catchy toe-tapping numbers of Dancing Through Life and Popular through to the thrilling showstoppers including No One Mourns the Wicked and Defying Gravity, the show promises a magical theatre experience for the young and the young at heart. Out of Alphaba's songs, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a Defying Gravity lover. That entire sequence just... It, it stresses me out more than anything else, but like, it's the greatest thrill. But I will have to say my favorite song in the entire show is No One Mourns the Wicked. Just that overture and like, just the entire spectacle of the production with the projections, the monkeys, the dragon, and then Glinda coming in with that iconic first line. Is it? What else can you say about it? It's perfect. It's perfect. It's truly perfect. And it's also it's also sad in a way that you're not ready for. And I I love that. I love that about the song. With a runtime of 2 hours and 45 minutes, including a short intermission, the much-loved musical theatre spectacle is currently showing in Melbourne at the Regent Theatre before flying into Brisbane later in the year. Book your tickets now. Hope to see you in Oz real soon.